Hi, good morning. Uh, this is uh, Tuesday, February 22nd, and this is your Master Pattern Report for this week. Uh, I'm your uh, host, uh, Dr. Bob Flower. Well, three years ago when we started the Master Pattern Series, we said that the United States was about to fall apart uh, within the next several years. We gave as one of the principal reasons uh, uh, that w what was happening was a breakdown of law and order. Uh, this was just one of the reasons why we felt the way we did or we saw what we saw. Well, three years later, now we have Egypt, Iran, Yemen, Libya, Jordan, as well as Greece falling apart and, and some other countries as well. Um, we are seeing similar responses for different reasons in uh, Wisconsin, Ohio, and pretty soon New York and California as well as New Jersey. Uh, stand by, because it's going to get worse. Uh, the United States and the world at large can no longer afford to live in the style it has been accustomed to. Uh, no more giveaways, no more freeloading, no more quick profits, and I'll give you a case in point here. In uh, Sunday's New York Times real estate section, there was an article on the Federal Reserve uh, and uh, mortgage brokers. And here's what happened. The Federal Reserve, in all its wisdom, uh, has said that effective as of April 1st of this year, uh, mortgage brokerage firms uh, and their agents uh, can no longer charge maximum uh, or contested fees that the fee structure must be structured uh, and uh, set in place with minimum uh, amounts of, of what they call points, okay? And that there will be no more rear end loading. In other words, they, the client must have the best possible uh, loan and uh, that's it. There is no other, there's no excuse for the mortgage being at any higher in rate than whatever the current lowest rate is and no uh, no additional points. Well, you know, that's all well and good and uh, uh, there's, there's merit to that, uh, but there again, there's always two sides to the story. And the other side of the story is that, number one, it's not fair and it's not realistic to, ex to expect that there are going to be borrowers uh, who have the same credit status as others. And if you're a uh, if you're a, a, a good credit individual, uh, it's not going to make much of a difference because you're going to get the same uh, loan rate that a poor credit individual is, and the poor credit individual is going to get the same rate as you. Now you tell me if that makes sense, folks. Further, further, you know who's exempt from this? The banks. The banks are totally exempt from this. Okay. In fact, anybody who makes loans with their own money are exempt from this. Absolutely preposterous. So that now, this knocks out a huge majority of competition, which you know what competition does, folks. It drives down rates and it makes things competitive. Well, we're not going to have that going forward here. Because you, do you think that with fewer and fewer institutions making loans that we're going to be able to enjoy this? be able to have the uh, spirit of competition? No way. So uh, another shot uh, to the uh, real estate industry is about to land, right? And uh, you can see the effects of that going forward maybe three or four months. So this summer should be a real good, good month for real estate. On the economic front, for those of you who contacted us recently and asked about oil uh, over a week, week and a half ago at $86, Hello, uh, we told you it wasn't over, and, and it still isn't. Uh, by the way, silver has made it past $33, uh, a major breakthrough uh, uh, at the $32.50 50 cent level that, that we said where we said there was strong resistance. But it's not going to hold up. Uh, don't 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 be a buyer here. Uh, watch for a breakdown back below $30 over the next 30 or 60 days before it starts back up again 
on this march towards record highs um, sometime around the, the end of this year. Uh, and so far as the S&P is concerned, uh, it's weak. Um, it, it's been on the run. <clears throat> it's been struggling up uh, a little bit at a time, um, making uh, two-year highs. Uh, but uh, we're going to see um, uh, we're going to see a pullback that we had predicted, uh, and we think it'll be a sharp one before uh, before you know, sometime around uh, between now and and, and, and mid-April. Uh, but we think that there will be a rebound and an uptrend uh, for the uh, S&P uh, into late summer. And then at that time, we're, we're looking for another another pullback. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about that uh, later on as we, uh, as we get to it. Okay, so now uh, we have some key dates uh, coming up for you uh, next week uh, for silver, uh, March 1st. And potentially March 3rd, uh, I'll give you that March 3rd figure. Uh, uh, we'll clarify that uh, next Monday. But um, uh, we expect to see uh, uh, one of those, uh, or both of those days, we expect to see strong activity. Uh, and the S&P as well. We think that there's going to be some, some move, uh, movement in the S&P on, on both of those days. Uh, the direction, uh, well, we'll see, but chances are the way things are going. Um, right now, it certainly looks like it's going to be up, but if there's quick resolution here to some of these things, uh, then we're going to see uh, we're going to see a, 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 a drop in in uh, both of uh, uh, well, a reversal. Let's let's not say a drop, a reversal of the markets uh, for these things. Okay. Um, we have um, we have some um, uh, some news on our our, our latest book uh, and our, our TV show. Uh, we're finished with the filming of the first um, eight chapters of the series on on the uh, on our TV show Potentia Nation. Uh, very interesting and we think entertaining. We will be shooting the next. Um, the next eight uh, over the next uh, three to four weeks, um, and we hope we could see some of you at, at the filming. Some of you may want to participate. Um, a very interesting um, uh, adventure in uh, human behavior and human understanding, uh, and some some important principles that we apply with the with the master pattern. By the way, uh, we have uh, finally put together a model for the master pattern that we think um, will make some sort of sense to you when we show it to you. And this is one of the reasons why we just haven't, haven't uh, shown it to you in what we think is its entirety. We can't be sure of that either um, because it just seems to go on and on and on and it's, uh, it, it, it's a, a structure and uh, its capabilities. Um, but we will be posting that on our website very soon, probably within the next 30 days. And I, uh, I invite you to, to look at this and uh, uh, to try and grow with it because we think it's going to be something in the future that will be very, very uh, important to, uh, uh, to our children and uh, to our own welfare. Okay, so uh, that's it. It's, uh, it's as the old Chinese proverb say, says, may you live in interesting times. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.